Okay, everybody. Welcome. We didn't mean to spook you. Um, thank you so much for being here. This is so cool. Like, this is a good gathering of after school people at a play. It means a lot to us. I know our students have worked very hard and they're excited to share this story with you. It's a fun story. It's really silly. It goes for about a half an hour to 40 minutes ish. Uh, and it's just a good time. So enjoy it. Uh, if you need to use the restroom, you just go through the door. If we made it, so we'll walk on this. Let's get back in. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you for always reminding me. There are some flashing lights through the play. We try not to make them too intense. But there are some flashing lights and some screams. Like occasionally. Screams. That are loud. So just be, prepare yourselves emotionally <laughs> and mentally for such things. And. Chased by a murderer scream. <laughs> yes, it's true. Without further ado, we're very excited at East Hollywood High School to invite you to the Telltale Teacher. We hope you enjoy. I think you dropped something. I'm all butterfingers today. when enveloped in cotton. I gasped for breath, and yet the officers heard it not. I talked more quickly, but the noise steadily increased. Why would they not be gone? I paced the floor to and fro with heavy strides, as if excited to fury by the observations of these men, but the noise steadily increased. No. The officers heard. They suspected. They knew. They were making a mockery of my horror. I could bear those hypocritical smiles no longer. I felt that I must scream or die. <coughs> and now, again, hark. Louder. 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 Villains! I shrieked. I admit the deed. Tear up the planks. Here. Here. It is the beating of his hideous heart. <laughs> All right, now, class. Notice how Paul explores the idea of how one small, seemingly unimportant detail, like a pale blue eye, can drive the conflict? Stacy, what do you think? Uh, well, the narrator hated the old man's cloudy eyes. He, like, killed them, right? And he was going to get away with it, but he, like, confessed to the crime because he'd hear the heart beating. But was he really hearing the heart beating? Well, I guess that's up to interpretation. Jasper, what do you think? I don't like scary stories. The classic teleterror makes me yuck. I'm sorry, do you want me to write your pass to the guidance office to talk about it? No, I'll suffer in silence. <laughs> if only, Jasper. If only. Does anyone else want to comment on Poe's Horror Classic? Anyone? Anyone? How about you, Wednesday? The narrator was insane, and I really liked that about him. And a mattress out of him as a weapon, that was cool. And hiding the bodies under the floor, so obvious, yet no one would look there. <laughs> Absolutely genius. Yes. Well, thank you for that insight, Wednesday. <laughs> all right. I want you all to get in groups of three, and I'll pass out the directions for today's assignment. Did you know there was a homicide in his 
very edifice 20 years ago today, and the crime is still unsolved. Whoa, cool. I bet it's just like this episode of Ghost Whisperer that I saw the other night. There was this like deceased, scary teenage ghost, right? And she just wanted to talk to her mom one last time. And so the Ghost Whisperer helped her do that, and then she finally went to the light. <sighs> Jennifer Love Hewitt is a great detective, but she cries a lot. <laughs> What do you guys call an alligator in the vest? What? How does this pertain to our discussion? An investigator. Uh, <laughs> oh, I wonder that the poor student wasn't murdered, but crushed to death by a mountain of pointless paperwork. This people, this assignment is going to eradicate me. Emerson, don't get white. You can handle a little challenge now and then. Why would you keep your eyes open? Miles, don't. Because she's going to control her pupils. Beautiful students. Emerson, you're working hard, I see. Wednesday, keeping the tradition of wearing a black for the third year in a row? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Troy, Stacy, looking forward to the football game tomorrow night? Ah! Uh, Alex, what show you been watching? Uh, weirder Things or something like that? Uh, you can stop right there. Mallory, Miles, Jasper? It's a great morning, isn't it? Ha! Now, Miss Finkel. Yes, how may I help you? I'm going to need those lesson plans. We're going to chat about it in the hallway for just a minute. All right, class. I'll be right outside. Oh, hey guys! Did you hear about the murder that took place 20 years ago today in this very school? Possibly. In this very room. And it's still unsolved. Wow! I can't believe you think we believe that absolutely nauseating joke. Just stop. No, it's 100% factual. There was a juvenile male who was murdered here 20 years ago today. And the perpetrator of the crime was never found. It remains an open case to this very day. That means his spirit may be walked through the school. He could be right here in this room with us. He must have done something really bad to be sentenced to haunt this place for all eternity. <laughs> you people need to get a life. There's no such thing as ghosts. Now, if you weenies, if you weenies don't mind, I've got to stay focused so I can play the best at my game. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Attention never made a difference in my tone. Okay. Well, you make a good point there. One that I'm not willing to accept. <laughs> now, I sent Miss Finkel back to class just a few minutes ago. Where is she? Oh, what if the ghost comes here too? We're all gonna die. I don't know that's supposed to be afraid of crying. <laughs> oh, Jasper, there's no such thing as ghosts. I don't care what they're called, spirits or apparitions. <laughs> and I assure you, Miss Finkel has not been captured by one. Emerson uh, was just saying, there was a murder 20 years ago today. The, the boy, he, he, um, he was lonely, so we took Miss Finkel to be his friend. He's coming for us next. Emerson, why would you spread such lies to a dear student mind? Mm -hmm. It was in the newspaper, Principal Snodgrass. I read it last night in the tributes online archives. There was a teenager who was killed, and the crime was never solved. Would you like me to send you a link? Uh, excuse me. No. <laughs> I will look into this, rest assured, and maybe 
I should stop teaching Miss Finkel to teach Edgar Allan Poe to you weenie heads. In the meantime, I'm sure she'll be back in just a few minutes. And I'm sure she'll be very disappointed to find out that her beloved students didn't get any work done while she was gone. Now get back to work! Ah, uh, this is so stupid. I have like so many more important things to do right now. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. <gasps> Something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Something's weird and it don't look good. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I'm afraid of ghosts. I don't really think it's a good idea to split up. 
Yeah, that's true. On Ghost Hunters, Jason and Grant put their investigators into teams to, you know, investigate. It's never safe to investigate a haunted house alone. Buddy system is always the best. You know, for once, the nerd is right. What I think oh, is true. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I found a clue. Let me see. It, it's Miss Fingle's pencil. But she always keeps it tucked behind her ear. Oh, no, the ghost got her. This is just like a telltale heart. <gasps> Guys, quick, let's look under the floorboards or maybe behind a newly constructed brick wall. That's a different story. But it's still possible, right? So, now I have to worry about a ghost and the murderer. This day keeps getting worse and worse. What's next, a kidnapping? You know, I heard of a kidnapping once. Miles? But he woke up. <laughs> you know, I believe we both are jumping to conclusions. I'm sure Miss Finkel was just called away or something. I mean, after all, we didn't hear an uproar or a commotion. I heard screaming. That, that was, was you! you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> However, the pencil is cleanly broken in half. This may indicate that there was a struggle, since the pencil was broken with some force. A struggle by, let's say, a madman and a mattress. Uh, no, that is not what I am saying at all. <sighs> you people are impossible. Uh, I think we need to look for more clues. You know, Principal Snodgrass was the last one to see these people. So. He's definitely suspect. Numero uno. <laughs> and so, uh, Stacy Emerson and I will uh, go find Principal Snodgrass to, uh, you know, interrogate him. And Alex and Jasper can look for more clues in the hallway. Ha <laughs> ha! I am not coming out from underneath. This desk until <laughs> Miss Finkel herself drags me out. Oh. oh. Miss Finkel? Or her ghost? Oh. <laughs> uh, get off of me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just so terrified. What do you call a frightened diver? Miles, this isn't the time. Chicken of the sea. Oh. <laughs> Speak, 
English points, Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> One of us needs to go out there, <laughs> look around, and let us know what he or she has seen. Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no. Okay, but who will be brave enough to go out? We need a volunteer. Uh, does anybody Mark. know what date it is? Uh, it's March 4th, March. Wow, I'm so glad that was your idea, not mine. Oh, man. Thanks for volunteering, Alex. Uh, March 4th? And go see who's out there. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Oh, okay, so it's just like in every episode of Supernatural when Dean makes Sam go investigate on his own. But, Dean and Sam always debate things with rock, paper, scissors, so Troy, I challenge you. Whatever loser. I think so. Go try. Yeah. Go try. 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 Go the great poet, Dylan Thomas. Good choice, Alex. Who? I was quoting the movie Independence Day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay, here I go. What a... Loser! <laughs> wow, we got the I found this safe in the door. have all of these 
ideas. I need a moment alone. Does he mean populate? No, I mean participate. No, I mean prevaricate. Do you even know what that means? My mom said that if you prevaricate, your, mom, your nose goes like Pinocchio. Uh -huh. I mean, you <laughs> postulate. It means to guess or hypothesize. Don't any of you listen to school? Nope. What are you saying? <laughs> Structure of the gods. Oh, speaking of, I just made one up. How about how fares the employee, a uh, principal in dire want, school board, and joining? Huh? I'm gonna need those lesson plans. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Really, kids, you have to make everything so difficult. I was just next door getting those lesson plans ready for Mr. Snodgrass. I don't understand anything that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> why, did, why did you leave us the haiku? I thought you would think it was funny. <laughs> funny? <laughs> funny? We have been worried sick about you and scared for our lives! Jasper, are you okay? What are you saying? Nothing, I'm sorry. All right then, I think it's best we get straight out of here. Uh, Emerson, I'd like you to... Emerson never came back. Oh, she's missing. Kidnapped. Don't you mean ghost now? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Hey, Emerson. Emerson! Emerson's up. Emerson, you're alive! Okay. Students, get back to your seats. I don't know why everyone is so on edge. Emerson, are you skipping class? No. I discovered he's to hide in the adjacent room, and he was... Well, I'll let him enlighten you. I lost my keys this morning. Have any of you kids seen them? Oh. I've been looking for them all day. I've been all over the school, searching, moving furniture, looking everywhere I think they might be. I made quite a ride and searching through the boiler room and the air ducts and all the classrooms except this one. Hi! Aha! There they are! <laughs> so instead of being the janitor, Mr. Hyde, you're being Mr. Seek? <laughs> uh, you need to work on your jokes. <laughs> What's the deal with the lights? Oh, uh, Dominion Power's been working on all day. Something's buggy in the line. <laughs> so, <laughs> there wasn't a ghost. <laughs> it was just Mr. Hyde making a racket looking for his keys. And, and then Miss Bingo was right next door doing lesson plans. See, this is why we shouldn't have scary stories in school. I told you, there was a reasonable explanation for everything. There was never any cause for alarm. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Thank you.